Which X-Factor ability is the best one in NHL 24? In this video series, you'll find out as I'm creating custom teams with full lineups of every player having the same ability. Will the Wheels team beat the Elite Edges team? Will the Truculence team beat the Unstoppable Force team? And most importantly, will Ice Pack win the entire tournament? Now I think there's too much content to do this in just one video, so I will break it into parts. There are 42 X-Factor abilities in NHL 24. For the purposes of this video, we will just pretend that goalie abilities do not exist. My initial plan was to have them all compete in the same franchise mode, but the problem with that is I can only control one of the teams. And that is not what we want, because I want to be able to watch them play against one another, especially in the playoffs. So instead of that, here's the game plan. Firstly, we of course have to create the 42 custom X-Factor teams. I am going to pick 12 teams out of the 42 that will be directly added to the playoffs. And then the other 30 teams I will throw into a league and the top four, so the teams that make it to the conference finals in that league, will join the 12 teams in the playoffs. And that will be just played in a regular playoffs mode. So for example, one of the teams I've picked Here's the Oklahoma one-timers. Their entire roster will consist of players with 90 in every single stat category and then the golden one-timer ability. So one T is one of the abilities that I've picked to be in the playoffs. And the other ones are Big Tipper, Tape to Tape, Quick Pick, Shut Down, Elite Edges, Wheels, Truculence, Unstoppable Force, Heat Seeker, Stick em Up at close quarters. The rest of the teams will be playing in the qualifying league from which the top four will join these 12 teams in the X-Factor playoffs. And this qualifying league is what you will see in this video. I would make custom players with 90 in every stat and the correct X-Factor for all of these teams, but let's be real, it's gonna take a lot of time if I wanted to do that. So I will save that part just for the 16 teams that make it to the playoffs but yeah basically the four teams that make it to the conference finals in this created league will be added to the playoffs of 16 teams to battle it out to ultimately become the GOAT level X-Factor. Let's begin with the third team qualifying league. I have to have the similar abilities in the same division if that makes sense. So like the Pacific Division is like all shooting abilities. Then in the Central Division, we have all hands related abilities. These are like deking abilities. So there's like a shooting division. Then there's like a deking division. Then there's, I I don't know what to even call this. This is like, like a physical division, I guess. And then the last division is just, it's just all the weird stuff. This is like, Weird stuff division, I guess. I don't know what to call it. And here you can see all the lineups. Everyone here has the same ability on every team. And we're ready to start simulating this season. Let's look at this from the perspective of the ice pack. We, we're on team ice pack here, 100%. So let's simulate up to Christmas. Let's see how the season starts. All right, here. Yo, the ice pack started the season with a three game winning streak. Yo, look at the ice pack go. 10, 11, 4 and 1. It was 11, 4 and 1. The ice packs are doing real nice. There we go. Let's look at some of those standings. All right, at Christmas break, Ice Pack is second in the division, looking strong to make the playoffs. To be fair, I'm not sure how the simulation engine really does this, because there's not even injuries on, and the two abilities that like prevent injuries from happening are top two in their league, but all right, we'll allow it, we'll allow it. Seeing I going strong, Oi oi oi! Looks like Make It Snappy and Thunderclap are the worst ones in this one. Interesting. Thunderclap is really far away from the playoff line as well. They have to turn this around if they don't want to get eliminated. All alone in there in the playoff conversation. Just like off the rush. And Shaka is right there behind them as well. 
Due to backhand seeing I leading that division. Rocky Dov is leading the Atlantic division by 8 points. Ahead of Backcatcher, Relentless and Big Rig. Then there's Born Leader, Crease Crashers, Bouncer. It's a pretty even situation in the Atlantic. Except, well, Team Japan is trailing quite a bit. Then in the central, Spinnerama is first. No contest second, magnetic in reverse. It's super close though. If you look at the points, it's only 10 points between the first and the last. Skilled up, not doing too hot right now, but it's still close. They still have the chance to climb back in those standings. Let's simulate up to like when there's five games left in the season. Let's see what happens. Let's see if the ice pack is gonna stay in a playoff spot. And it looks like it, except now they're on a little bit of a losing streak. Not anymore. There's a couple of wins. Ice pack currently first in the division. All right, there's four games left. And Ice Pack, Ice Pack has fallen. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight game losing streak for the Ice Pack, and they fall to fifth in the division. Ay, ay, ay. Ice Pack was first in the division for a while before that, but damn, now they're not even on a playoff spot. Bounce Pack is still leading the division. Third eye. It's risen to second place. Total Eclipse is there. Send it currently on a wildcard spot. Ice Pack three points behind Send it. They really need to catch them. Quick draw and Yoink look to be a little bit too far away from those playoff spots. Beauty Backhand clinched division title already. 105 points. And Seeing Eye also clinched their playoff spot already. All alone, Thunderclap, make it snappy. Look to be the three next ones in this one. Chocano, Snipe and Off the Rush are probably out unless they're able to get a little bit of a comeback at the end of the season. Back Atcha has clinched their playoff spot as well. 102 points. Shrocky Doff, Relentless, Born Leader. Big Rig still might have a chance to make the playoffs. Crease Crashers and Bouncer are going to get knocked out though. They are too far away from those playoff spots. Spinorama is still first. Ankle Breakers, no contest, Magnetic. In reverse, these two are both uh, wildcard teams at the moment, but there's still a chance that might change. We'll just simulate. We'll just simulate up to the last day. In reverse is one point behind Magnetic in this division. And here, Thunderclap is one point behind all alone. And they're also in the same conference. So they're all four of those teams are fighting for the wildcard spots. And it's going to be all alone and Magnetic. So in reverse and Thunderclap are both just barely knocked out. So from the shooting abilities division, it's gonna be beauty backhand against all alone and seeing eye against make it snappy in the first round of the playoffs. Thunderclap by two points gets knocked out. That was one of my favorites that I wanted to see in the playoffs, but they're not gonna make it. Neither will Shogun or Sniper off the rush. In this division, Ice Pack did not make it. Our, our ice pack is out of the tournament. And so is quick draw and yoink. Send it. Makes it to the playoffs to play against Total Eclipse in the first round. Third eye is playing against Bounce Back in the first round. Ankle Breakers and Spinorama tied in points. No contest and Magnetic next two up. And <laughs> the other teams were all within two points. Off the playoff spot. 87, 87, 86, 86. But 
All this far, just barely knocked out. Shrug it off back at Cha. Born leader, relentless, make the playoffs. Big Rig is out, Chris Crasher's out, and Bouncer is out. These are best of ones. I've set it to best of one, so it's just one game between these two teams. And first game, all alone against Ankle Breakers. If there's any close games, I'll jump in to watch the ends. But if they're not close, we'll just simulate it from here. Let's see. All alone against Ankle Breakers. All alone. Nick Ehlers, first one to score. Nick Ehlers, again for Team All Alone. I'm kind of on the All Alone side for this playoffs. 3 nothing already. Gordy Howe, second period. 4 nothing. Gordy Howe. That may have been a breakaway goal based on where he shot that. 5 nothing. All Alone is just unstoppable, these playoffs. Oh, but there's ankle breakers with two quick goals. Zuccarello and Marner. And now they're on the power play. Can't score though. And there's there's the dagger. 6-2. 7-2 is your final score. Second game of the playoffs. It's going to be the Berlin Beauty Backhanders. Against Manitoba Magnetic. Here we go. And the Beauty Backhanders. Forsberg scores right away to make it 1-0. 5 on 3, no goals for Magnetic. Power play for the backhands. No goals scored, and it's gonna be a 1-0 game after the first. Let's jump into the second period here. Let's see. Magnetic, 17 shots on goal. No goals yet, but there it is. Magnetic's Eric Stahl is going to tie it. But right after, Forsberg, and now it's tied. 2-2, two to two. McDavid ties it up again. And yet again, the beauty backhands from the corner, Zuccarello. That may have been a beauty backhand. Never know, never know. We're going into the third period. If it stays this way, we might need to jump in as Nick Bonino ties it up. 3-3. Three, three. Power play. No goal scored. 12 minutes left. Another power play for the mag magnetic team. And Chara on the power play. Scores to make it 4-3. The first lead of the game for Team Magnetic. 3.47 on the clock. Let's go watch the rest of this game. The beauty backhands on their home arena playing against team magnetic magnetic leading the game late by just one goal though let's see if beauty backhands are able to climb back in this one here's marner how takes the puck away from him though with that magnetic ability here they come and they score to make it five to three I don't see the beauty backhands coming back from this one anymore. I wonder if the backhanders like know that they have the beauty backhand on. Ooh, there's another slashing call. It's gonna be a five on three. But I wonder if the AI actually knows it has like beauty backhand on. Like does the AI go for backhand shots more when they have that ability? I'm not sure. They win the draw, Forsberg. Dave is going for that backhander. Shot from the point. There's 25 seconds left and I think the beauty backhand season is going to be over after this game. There it is, the Manitoba Magnetic making it to the second round. Third game of the first round. It's going to be relentless against which team is that? Which team is that? I believe that is Shrug it off? Yeah, that has to be Shrug it off. And Shrug it off is putting two goals on the board right at the start of the game. But relentless, relentlessly staying in the game. They are relentless after all. 2-2, two, two. team is relentless. They tie it up. Ooh, and Shrug it off, gets another lead. Zach Hyman, 3-2 to two now. 
Let's see if Relentless is going to be able to tie it. But there's Nick Bonino. But Taves right back the other way. It's 4-3. 15 minutes. Power play. Can Relentless kill it off? They can. 12 minutes left. And it's tied. Philip Forsberg for Team Relentless. And we might need to jump into this one as Ehler scores again and Relentless being down two twice in this game. They now have the lead. And 6-4. to four. Gordy Howe. Can shrug it off, make it a one goal game? No, they cannot. McDavid, Relentless. He's going to win this game. Fourth matchup of the first round. Send it against Total Eclipse. An interesting matchup. Total Eclipse going for those point shots possibly. Well, send it. Great on the breakout. Edler scores the first goal for Team Send It. Let's see if Total Eclipse is able to climb back here. Shots are 17 to 5. Total Eclipse unable to get anything going. But Nino scores 2 0, 3 0 right away. Connor McDavid on the power play. Total Eclipse is just getting completely run over right now. Eight shots on goal after two periods. Well, now they're getting a couple more shots. But 11, 11 shots in two periods. That's not gonna be enough. Let's see if in the third they can come back. There's Gordy Howe, gets them that important goal. Shoots it from the point, may have been a screen in front, and they've made it back within one as Gordy Howe scored his second. They've tied it up! Zuccarello with three minutes left. We have to jump in to watch the rest of this game. Three to three, these two abilities fighting for their season. 12 seconds on the clock. Loses the puck though. And there's a penalty. That's going to be a tripping call for Team Sendits. Nick Ehlers. Here they are in the offensive zone. Can they win the draw? They cannot, but how almost gets the puck. And Sendit is just going to dump that just over the blue line. And that's offside. And this game looks to be going to OT. Total Eclipse or send it. Who is it going to be? Bailey loses the puck. But they get it right back. Here's Chara. Short-handed. For team send it. Can't get it to work. Now there's a counter-attack coming the other way. McDavid for Total Eclipse. Passes it in the middle. Here's Marner, but Elliot makes the save. I really want to see a Total Eclipse goal here in OT. Someone in front of the net for the screen. And defenseman shoots it. There it is, but it's blocked. Bonino. Huge block made. After the block, Bonino goes it goes to four check and takes a tripping penalty behind the goal line. That may have been the stupidest penalty I've ever seen. There it is, and it's Marner! Scores to clinch the spot in the second round for Team Total Eclipse. Born leader against Back Atcha. The winner of this series will play against Shrugidoff? Did Shrugidoff make it to the second round? I already forget, but holy, there's three goals on the board already. Kessel first for Back Atcha, but then Born leaders. Two goals back to back. Maybe the first goal gave the players energy. And then the second goal was because of that. But there's Gordy Howe. And there's Philip Ronek from the sp same spot as Gordy Howe. What is going on? Back at you with two goals back to back. Leading the game, Matt. Game now. But Phil Kessel. Phil Kessel. Phil Kessel. And Philip Forsberg from the point. And there's a fifth goal for. Born leader, 5-3 to three in the second period. What is going on here? Power play for Bakacha. Cannot score. Bakacha cannot score. They really need one. 15 minutes. They need a goal. There's a power play yet again. But they're not going to score on it. 
half the period is gone. They're still down by two goals. Shots are dead even. Five to three. Will there be any goals? Is born leader going to be able to just shot team back at you out for the rest of this game? Looks like it. Born leader stays strong, takes this one. Third eye scores first against bounce back McDavid from the corner. And then there's Jonathan Taves makes it 2 0. Can bounce back, bounce back in this game. Doesn't look like it. They haven't scored. They need two. They need two. Half the game remaining though. Five minutes left in the second. Can they not score? Third eye? Is third eye the greatest defensive ability of the whole game? Nope. There is Connor McDavid. But there is also Zach Hyman. But there is also Zdeno Jara. All those three people exist. And the game is 3 to 2. With 7 minutes remaining, and the game is 3 to 3, with 6.5 minutes remaining. Pause the game. 2 minutes left. We have a tight game. Which team will be going home, and which team will be going to round 2? It's basically overtime. Next goal wins. Ehlers hits the post. Bounce back. That is a very clutch save for Team Third Eye. Third Eye. They win the draw. Third Eye. Dangles. Couple of passes. Couple of quick passes with those Third Eye abilities. But that doesn't go anywhere. McDavid. McDavid for bounce back. Gets crushed. Bounces back though. But not well enough. Because Chara is just way bigger. And here's Gordy. Gordy Howe. Skates in the middle and shoots, but a big save made again. Chara shoots it. There's a penalty coming up and Chara claps it. But that one's blocked. Chara. 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 Finds Forsberg. But that shot is blocked. I feel like overall it's probably going to be so that... Mainly the shooting abilities are actually going to affect things a lot. And maybe something like Unstoppable Force. Here's Hyman. What a move. Zuccarello on the backhand. What a goal. And third eye clutches it up in overtime against bounce back. And third eye moving on to round two. We officially have a big match up here. Two shooting abilities. One of them will be knocked out. Seattle seeing eye against. Manchester make it snappy, if I remember correctly. Seeing eye first goal and second goal as well. Danny De Kaiser two goals for Team Seeing Eye. But here comes Philip Forsberg from the point. Kessel from the corner makes it 3 to 1 in the first period. Taves with make it snappy makes it a one goal game, but Mitch Marner makes it. There's goals being scored left and right. I can't even keep up with this. McDavid makes it a one goal game again. Third period. Two goals right at the start of the period. What is going on? Five to four. This is not playoff hockey. There's just goals left and right. Seven to four. What is going on? Team seeing eye just throwing those pucks on net and it's everything going in. Make it snappy. Can't score on a five on three. Five players with make it snappy on the ice and you can't score. If you can't if you can't score with five on three and you have five make it snappies on the ice, you deserve to lose eight to four. Make it snappy was probably one of the strongest favorites, honestly, in this qualifying tournament. I felt like they were like on paper one of the best teams, but Seattle seeing eye is going to kick them out of the tournament. Here's our last round one matchup. And it is no contest against Spinorama, yeah. Spinorama against no contest. The last matchup of round one. Let's see 
who is the last team making it to round two. Now we have some playoff hockey. No contest. Solid on defense. Zero goals allowed. But they haven't scored either. Zero zero going into the second power play. And the power play delivers from the corner. Gordy Howe scores for team no contest. But here's Danny De Kaiser. De Kaiser has scored so many goals. And here's a couple goals. Two goals back to back for no contest. It's three to one. 12 minutes left and they make it 4 to 1. No contest looks like they're going to take this one. Speedoramas are not for playoff hockey. That's confirmed, I guess. So here we have it. The second round is the final round in this qualifier. So everyone that wins the second round is going to make it to the top 16 of the whole tournament. All alone against no contest. Seeing eye against magnetic. Total Eclipse against Third Eye. Um, Born Leader against Relentless. Those are the matchups. The winners of these games will go to the top 16. Here we go. The deciding round. Winner makes it to the top 16. No contest. Against all alone, all alone scores on the power play. That was definitely not because of the all alone ability, but they still scored. I guess it still counts. One nothing after the first. We have some tight, tight defense in this playoff series. One nothing still. Tight D from both teams. If this goes. 1-0 into the third. We might have to jump in to watch the third period. And it looks like it's going to be just that. Let's go watch the third period. Team all alone. Against team no contest. All alone. All alone. All alone was almost all alone. Still running a shutout. Here's Marner. Marner. Here's McDavid. No contest. Can they win the puck? They cannot. Not even with the ability. Really? Really? Great pass, but McDavid is doing... I don't know what he's doing. Ristolainen shoots it. Ten minutes left. Taves throws it wide. No contest. Trying to tie it up. Grinding in the corners. They win the puck. Great shot, but a good save made. Five minutes left. That's going to be a penalty and all alone is going on the power play. This has been probably like the slowest game of the whole playoffs. I guess, I mean, round two. Teams are starting to lock in on defense. How? Claps it. Chara walks in. Shot is blocked. Here's How. Passes it to Forsberg. Chara shoots it, but Elliot another save. Chara. How passes it to McDavid, but what a save made by Elliot. So, yeah. That's the game. All Alone is our first team to join the 12 teams I picked to make the final playoffs. Uh, born leader against Relentless. One of these teams is going to be the next one. Joining the playoffs, relentless starting off strong power play goal. Nick Ehlers from the corner. What is up with those corner goals? Like, by the way, everyone's scoring from like zero angle. I guess it's just simulation things. Power play for born leader. They can't score. They cannot score. Second period. 15 minutes. In the second period, Relentless can't get the power play to work, but Philip Ronek from the point. But McDavid gets Born Leader back within one. And Born Leader, a second goal right away. Two to two. Late in the second, power play doesn't go anywhere. We're going into the third tied. Here we go, third period. Relentless against Born Leader. Born Leader has the advantage of 
every single time they hit or block a shot or score, they just get that energy boost and they can play their first line a lot. Maybe I'm just imagining things, but I like to think that the born leaders have scored a couple of times like back to back, where it would just make sense that the first goal gave them like max energy and then that helps them score again. But I mean, that might just be, might just be conspiracy theories. Here's how, can't get the shot off. I really want to see uh, someone get bumped and use the relentless ability. Water is good, but that shot, was, that shot was also good. I'm still yet to see anyone actually like using an ability here. What a save! Sounding name for the team. Born leaders, what a save! What a save made by Elliot Gordy Howe. Or Team Relentless passes it in the middle. That won't go, but there is a slashing call in front of the net. Here Taves passes it back. Chara, clapper. Elias makes the save. Chara, other side. Hyman, great passing. Can't get the shot off. Hyman finds Taves. Taves with the toe drag, but can't bury it. Hyman throws a backhander on. That's gonna be an easy save. The born leaders forgot that they're not the Berlin beauty backhanders. We're back to 5-on-5 five five hockey now. The Kaiser. And how from the corner. Great saves made yet again. The goalies have been super good in this round two games. And the relentless have taken up an offensive zone penalty. What are they doing? Like that's a horrible penalty. <laughs> They lose the puck, and here comes the relentless Benino. Hardy Howe, finally, can they finally get the puck to the offensive zone properly? The shot is taken, but what a save. And here comes McDavid. McDavid with speed, passes it. What a save again. And there's another offensive zone penalty taken. This time to the born leaders, but here's a breakaway. Moharder. Just can't score. And it's Connor McDavid. The born, born leader, Connor McDavid. See on his chest. And that man just takes a tripping call behind his opponent's net. McDavid. McDavid. Passes it. Ooh, what a shot attempt. That may have actually activated the relentless there. Soft win again. Chara. What a dive block. That should give the born leader some energy. Another block. More energy regained for the born leaders. And some hits thrown by Zdeno Chara. Great save made. Another great save. Toe drag gets poked off, but still keeps the puck. Here's Chara. Chara in the middle. Finds how, how unable to score. There's another penalty called. It's another tripping call as well. Marner. Oh yeah, and there it is, McDavid. It took two periods of watching this game for us to get a goal, but there it is, Connor McDavid and the Red Deer Relentless. They don't give up, they are relentless after all. They are so relentless that they will make it to the top 16 in this tournament. Toronto, Total Eclipse scores first, but Bailey for the third eye team. Ties it up right away. 1-1 one, one in the first. There's a power play. And Zach Hyman from the corner. I don't know what is up with those short side snipes. Or I don't know if they're short side. But super sharp angle shots in these games. Phil Kessel ties it up. We're tied 2-2. Two to two. We could just jump in at this point honestly. Let's go watch the rest of this game. Tampa against Toronto. This time it's not the Leafs against the Lightning, but Total Eclipse against the Third Eye. Great passing. The Third Eye activating. What a play, but what a save made there. Marner. Dangles. <laughs> they, they're kind of like me in HUT. They just dangle and lose the puck. Can someone do something? Chara can do something. I was about to say, and Chara does the dive selly. Chara doing the dive selly. Oh, that's like if if you're the opponent here, you just probably give up. 
perspective. When you see Chara coming down the ice and sh sniping its far side like that, and then doing the dive sally, you should probably just leave the building at that point. Like it's too dangerous to st stay there. Six foot nine human being. Draw, pushed. Third ice, great pass. Chara with another goal. Who is this guy? Six foot nine dude. Two goals. Clutching up in the third period. Ealers. Ealers dangling. Chara. <laughs> Imagine Chara with a hat trick. What a pass! That golden third eye activating on that one. That was probably the greatest example of the ability actually doing something so far from what we've watched. Like, that was actually a great pass behind the back. 5 to 2. Final score in that one. The Seattle seeing eye against the manitoba magnetic this is an exciting one last game of the day last team to make it to top 16 is decided in this match right here zero zero let's see how this turns out 10 minutes done we're still at zeros Power play for Seattle. Doesn't go anywhere. Second period. There's the first goal on the power play. McDavid gets Seattle on the board. The seeing eye team gets the early lead. Let's let's just jump into the game. Why not? Why not? Seeing eye against magnetic. This is the main event, in my opinion. Here they are. What a shot. But Elliot makes the save. McDavid. McDavid finds Howe. And Howe scores. And Seeing Eye activates on that shot. Can Chara turn this around? We've seen Chara turn games around before. Morsberg. Great pass to Marner and a great shot. But great save made yet again. McDavid. They still get the puck. And another save made. This is looking dangerous. The Seattle having troubles breaking the puck out. Here's how. Points McDavid in the middle, but what a save. Hyman shoots it. There's Forsberg. Hyman finds Zuccarello in front, but a great save. Forsberg on the point, loses the puck, and Ehlers is loose. Ehlers is on a breakaway. Little strike dig, but the save is made. One and a half minutes now. Tucarello taves, shoots it. They pull the goalie. Forsberg. Michigan? No Michigan try. Ronek claps it, but it's blocked. There's 20 seconds left on the clock. Ronek just tumps it into the zone. They can't get anything going. 10 seconds and it's not gonna be enough. The Seattle seeing eye are going to make it to the top 16. Knocking out. Magnetic. Yeah, seeing eye all alone. Third eye and relentless. Those are the top, top teams in the qualifier and will be added to the playoffs but yeah once more here are the 16 teams that are competing in the playoffs now and all of this stuff is also going to be streamed live on twitch so if you haven't followed me on twitch i'll leave a link down below so you can check it out there if you want and of course there will be videos coming up with the playoff games